When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love, said Marcus Aurelius. But what if amidst the chaos and turmoil of our lives, we've forgotten this privilege through the pages of history among the highs and lows of past ages? The Stoics stand out. These thinkers didn't just muse. They lived by solid principles that guided them through life's toughest moments. Their age-old wisdom still shines in today's hectic world, even as life's challenges shift our feelings, struggles and dreams remain stoicism with its focus on inner strength and determination is still so important today let's dive deep into 10 key stoic teachings that can help us stand strong especially during hard times number one the power of perception every incident in life passes through the lens of our perception influenced by our experiences biases and emotions while this gives depth to our personal narrative, it can distort reality, making us see challenges where there might be opportunities. The Stoics understood the weight of perceptions. They emphasize that while we can't control every external event, we do control how we perceive them. This shift in perspective can be liberating viewing adversities as growth opportunities instead of setbacks to navigate life's complexities. We must question our perceptions in challenging moments. Ask yourself if past traumas or anxieties color your view. We often discover broader perspectives and alternative solutions by re-evaluating our initial reactions leading to inner harmony. Number two, living fully in the now, in the age of distractions being anchored in the present, is a rarity. We're often ensnared in the regrets of yesterday or anxiety ties of tomorrow. Overlooking the beauty and potential of the now yet stoic wisdom underscores the fleeting nature of time, urging us to harness each moment. Marcus Aurelius's poignant words serve as a reminder that time is a non-renewable resource. Every second spent lost in thought or worry is a second not fully lived. The Stoics encouraged a mindful existence, appreciating every breath, every encounter and every challenge as if it were the last. So ask yourself, are you merely existing or are you truly living by embracing the present and immersing ourselves fully in each experience? We cultivate a richer, more fulfilling life, aligning with the Stoic pursuit of contentment and clarity. Number three, the inner compass, in a world clamoring with noise and divergent opinions, the Stoic beckon us to turn inwards. Every individual possesses an innate compass, an intrinsic guiding force often drowned out by the cacophony of external judgments, the allure of external validation. Though tempting is transient and inconsistent, Stoic philosophy teaches us that the truest form of validation, the most genuine form of applause, is the one that resonates from within. It's an unwavering acknowledgement of one's values, principles and integrity. Even when they stand in contrast to the world's ever-changing standards to truly navigate life's complex maze, we must rely on this inner compass, trusting our internal gauge, understanding its pointers and drawing strength from its direction ensures that even amid storms, we remain rooted, resilient and true to our essence number four. Redefining desires, desire an intrinsic part of the human experience, often dictates our actions, decisions and emotions. Yet how often do we stop and evaluate the nature of our desires? Stoicism invites us to introspect to ask, are our desires in harmony with our true essence? or are they merely reflections of external influences? It's easy to become iens, snared in the web of materialistic yearnings, letting societal benchmarks define our aspirations, stoic wisdom, however challenges this norm. It encourages us to redefine desires, ensuring they are not just about possessing or achieving, but about evolving, about aligning with virtues and integrity by reorienting our desires towards personal growth, virtue, and genuine fulfillment. 
We transcend mere fleeting satisfaction. We embark on a journey of profound transformation where desires become the bridge to our higher self, not barriers holding us back. It's not merely about having more, but about becoming more. Number five, adversity is opportunity life's tapestry with its intricate patterns often weaves threads of adversity at first glance. These threads might seem irregular or out of place, overshadowed by the comfort of familiar patterns. However, it is these very threads that add depth and resilience to the fabric of our existence. The Stoics perceived adversity not as a cruel trick of fate, but as a mirror reflecting our true character and potential. They believe that while calm seas might make a skillful sailor complacent, it is the raging storm that truly tests and refines his abilities in much the same way. Our challenges, setbacks and hardships compel us to dig deep, discover our strengths and harness resources. We might not have known we possess embracing adversity as an opportunity is transformative. Instead of being debilitated by the weight of our problems, we can view them as stepping stones, each one leading to a higher version of ourselves. Remember, it's not the absence of challenges that define us, but our response to them in every setback lies the potential for an even greater comeback. Number six, being one with the universe in the grand theater of existence. Every individual, every creature, Every atom plays its role, contributing to the larger narrative. While it's easy to be ensnared in the microcosm of our individual lives, Stoicism invites us to step back, broaden our gaze and appreciate the vastness of the cosmos of which we are but a fleeting part. This realization is not meant to belittle our significance, but to refine our perspective by acknowledging our position in the larger order of things. We embrace both humility and interconnectedness. We begin to recognize the symphony in which every note, no matter how subtle, is essential for the grand composition. As we align ourselves with this universal rhythm, we move in. Harmony in sync with the E and flow of existence, Cz's wisdom beckons us to find solace and purpose in this unity. By resonating with the universe, we not only understand our individual roles, but also how beautifully intertwined our fates are in this cosmic dance. We aren't isolated performers. We are integral parts of a grand choreography harmonizing with all that is and all that ever will be. Number seven, the pursuit of virtue in our age of incessant information. It's easy to mistake the accumulation of knowledge for wisdom, the Stoics. However, beckon us to discern between fleeting data and enduring virtue. It isn't about how much we know, but how deeply we embody the virtues we claim. To value true virtue transcends mere understanding. It is a living practice, an internal compass that directs every decision and interaction as we navigate our modern complexities. Let us not be blinded by the abundance of information but instead let virtue be our guiding light, leading us to a life of depth and purpose. Number eight, mastering the pause in the frenetic rhythm of life. We often find ourselves reacting impulsively, driven by immediate emotions or preconceived judgments. The Stoics, however, emphasize the importance of that fleeting, yet profound moment between stimulus and response. It's a tiny window but within it lies the vast expanse of our freedom and the essence of our wisdom. Taking a momentary pause, a deliberate breath before reacting, grants us the clarity to choose our path wisely. It allows reason to take the reins over instinct, ensuring our actions align with our deepest principles. In this pause, we find the power to shape our destiny, one thoughtful decision at a time. Number nine, graceful acceptance throughout the unpredictable journey of existence. We encounter moments of triumph as well as tribulations. Often it's not the events themselves that shape our well-being, but our response to them. The Stoics, with their profound wisdom, recognized this and emphasized the importance of attitude over adversity instead of resisting life's challenges or lamenting over unforeseen misfortunes. 
we can embrace them with an understanding heart and a composed mind. It's this graceful acceptance, this poised dance with whatever life presents, that allows us to navigate its complexities, not with resentment but with resilience and equanimity. Number nine, the inevitability of change. Everything in life is in a state of constant flux seasons, change, civilizations rise and fall, and even the most seemingly permanent mountains erode over time. This inherent transience of existence rather than being a source of sorrow can be a profound catalyst for meaningful living by internalizing the inevitability of change. We begin to value every fleeting moment and interaction action. It drives us to act with intention, to build legacies and to cherish memories as we embrace this perspective. Epictetus's words echo with renewed relevance, urging us not merely to exist, but to truly live in every given moment throughout history's vast landscape. There's a wisdom that remains constant, the teachings of Stoicism. Today we've journeyed together through some of Stoicism's most profound insights. Think of them as your personal guideposts, leading you towards a life of resilience, clarity and purpose. Even when things get tough, as you move forward in your own life, remember these lessons and let them be your trusted companions. If you found value in today's journey, and want to discover more about the world of philosophy, please take a moment to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel together. We'll continue exploring these timeless teachings, enriching our lives with every step.